and uh, that features two Olympic medalists. It's the gold medalists, of course, Li Yang and Wang Chi Lin up against the bronze medalists, Aaron Cha and So Wei Yik. Following that, we'll have two women's doubles and uh, the second of the women's doubles featuring the Olympic gold medalists, Polly and Rahayu. They too are defending champions at this particular event. And then we'll finish with men's singles. And Anna's Antonsen, who was winner of this title two years ago, beaten finalist last time, looking to go all the way to a third consecutive final. Long way to go, though, because he's up against the three-time world junior champion, Widesan. So plenty of action still to come. And as I say, our next match is men's doubles. And I can tell you, that only four seeds left in the men's doubles at the quarter-final stage, only one in the top half, and that is the defending champions, three-time defending champions and world number ones, Gideon and Sukumolio. All Indonesian affair we're about to watch. The all-Malaysian affair has been won by Ong Yu Sin and Tio Yi in two minutes shy of the hour mark, 21-18 in the deciding game. We will be seeing the uh, match in the third quarter there later on and I can tell you that Astrup and Erasmus in the number seven seats are one game up against the world championship silver medalists Hoki and Kobayashi. So very strong men's doubles and three courts in action here in the Bali International Convention Centre which is attached to the Westin resort hotel which is where we're all staying so we're all in a covid safe bubble and the organization really has been wonderful the players are absolutely loving uh, this indonesia badminton festival three tournaments in three weeks and here come the three-time defending champions marcus finaldi gideon and kevin sanjaya sukumolio and they'll be up against Pramudia Kusuma Wadana and Yerimia Orambitan. Kusuma Wadana and Orambitan not seeded, but they have been playing very well of late. They've already won two titles this year, including the Spain Masters, a Super 300 event. Also won the Belgium International Challenger. Now, that, of course, statistic is as far as international competition is concerned. We don't know what they've done domestically, whether they've played against each other before, these two pairs. But we do know that these two individuals, the world number ones, Gideon and Sukumolio, have won this particular title, the Indonesian Masters, four times each, three times together. Marcus Finaldi Gideon also won in 2014 with the late Marcus Kido. And Kevin Sanjaya Sukumolio has won four consecutive titles here, having won in 2016 with Pan Karini Ora. So, Marcus Finaldi Gideon, he's 30 years of age now, born in the Indonesian capital of Jakarta, and he and his partner are enjoying their 184th week in total as world number ones. Quite astonishing record. Now, in case you're wondering that Jill's just gone off her rocker by saying that this man has won four consecutive titles here and I told you he'd won in 2014, uh, 2016 with a different partner is because there was no competition in 2017. So he has indeed won four consecutive. His opponents in the first uh, two rounds, uh, they beat Choi and Kim, a new Korean combination in round one and then beat Kove and Labar of France in the second round in just under 30 minutes. So to Kasuma Wadana, turns 21 next month, born in Sukabumi in West Java, 
and currently number 34 in the world rankings. And Tuesday earlier this week, they went up to their career high of 34. Rambitan turned 22 last month. He, like uh, one of his opponents, Gideon, was born in the capital Jakarta. Formed their partnership only a couple of years ago at the Iran International Challenger event, so less than two years together. But as you can see, they've had a wonderful tournament so far. Uh, first round against the number eight seeds, the reigning and two-time European champions, Ivanov and Sozonov. And then Koga and Saito of Japan in the second round. So Ajindra Rai, our umpire for this one and our service judge from Iran. So just before we get going, just to explain a little bit further why there wasn't an Indonesian Masters of 2017, because we transferred from the Super Series and Grand Prix Gold era into the World Tour era, and the Indonesian Masters upgraded its status of tournament, and it had been played late in December as a tradition. And therefore, because they were going to come into the World Tour and start playing the Indonesian Masters in January, they didn't hold a tournament in December 2017, just waited for the new World Tour of 2018. Well done, Jill. That's pretty good. <laughs> I, I expected you to explain about uh, you know, the, the fact that, oh yeah, it was actually played in... Uh, in 2020 as well, of course. Yes, it, it was uh, in January. Yes. It was. I beg your pardon. Yeah. So, we are ready. One love. It's a little wild from Sukumolio. Too low. Well, after a very disappointing, by their own very Sun high sword. standards, exactly. in world number ones, Two. where they lost in the quarter final. Of course, having been the number one seeds, many people expected them to win the Olympic gold, Sukumolio and Gideon. We've had a lot of talk, you and I, Morton, yes. about what's gone wrong, why they've gone off the boil, why they've lost maybe a bit of confidence. But they have been in the final of the last two World Tour events, beaten in the final of the French Super 750, winning the event in Saarbrücken, Super 500 event. Are they back? Are they back to full confidence? No, I don't think no? so. I don't think so. Oh, it's going uh, to change your racket. Yeah, you've got to be quick here, Gideon. Almost done it, but uh, slightly late. Four, I couldn't control one. it. Gideon on that last shot, trying to have a look at this. That's yeah. cleverly played. And then can't keep it in on the back line. Now, Jill, coming back to your, your question, I, yeah. I really don't think that uh, they're still back up. I've actually been watching them in, in the first few matches here. Um, and. Uh, it, it doesn't suit their game, the slow conditions, in all honesty, again. Um, they do not favour these slow conditions, and, and this hall, this place, is, is one of those. And um, especially in the first match, uh, I, th I think they were very discontent with their own play and all the surroundings, everything about it. They, they did what they were supposed to do. They won the match, but uh, it was definitely not in fine style. That was against the Koreans. Against the Koreans. Yeah. I was actually watching a bit of it. Oh. Yeah, okay.
goodness. Yeah. Good anticipation. Yeah. Oh my goodness, now total confusion between the world number ones. Uh, Kasuma Wadana really lucky on that last net court, but uh, as you say, completely confusion at the back. Here we got it. Good reactions from Gideon, uh, sorry, from uh, Sukamulyo to get that one back. Really well played. So, Jill, I think you have to help me out a bit here. Yeah. Um, I have a feeling that uh, Gideon and Sukumoyo is struggling a little bit against uh, pairs from Indonesia because they probably know the playing style and they're yeah. used to it and all that. And they, I know they've lost to one pair. And that was uh, Maulana and Fikri, I think they lost to in the Denmark Open. Is that correct? It was indeed, and that was in the second round. Yes. But somehow, have they lost another one? To another young Indonesian oh. player, or is it just me Seven. getting it all wrong in my head? Right. You mean this year? Yeah, this year, or well, I know they lost to Alfian and Adianto last year in the Malaysian Masters. Yes, but nothing else but that. I can't think of any. Then it's uh, Alfian and uh, Arianto has lost twice to two young young players as yes, well. Yes, I think they have. Uh, so that's yeah. maybe where I'm confusing yeah. it a little bit. Wide. Oh! Into the eight, six, Error on the serve. I like the idea, so though. Yeah, Six, serving wide. Eight. Yeah. Not a bad idea. Seven, eight. Get ready to go. That was a big miss from Gideon. Yeah. That was a good opportunity. It was an excellent serve from uh, Sukamulyo. Oh, good defence. And again. Yeah. Good play run from uh, Kusuma Wadana. It's out. Confusion, but well left. <laughs> yeah, he did well because Kusuma Wadana had broken the string of his racket. In the end, good judgment. Oh, that's a beautiful shot, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's a little. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what we we yeah. so love about Sukumolio. This extraordinary capability he has to just play. A shot that nobody else dares to play. And he is playing it at ease. It's so easy for yeah. him to do it. Oh. Yeah. But I so think so he's well. not as Eleven, dominant eight, at the front of court uh, today as what we saw, let's say, two years ago. No, and I think that's a, a lack of confidence. Yeah, and it's uh, probably one of the keys why the com combination is not doing as well as it used to. No, exactly. But of course, the Two pairs from Indonesia, so there will be no coaching involved. Gives us a chance to talk about a possibility of making history for Kevin Sanjaya Sukumolio because no men's doubles player since the inception of the Super Series and now the World Tour has ever won five consecutive what men's what doubles titles at the same tournament. There have been players that have won four consecutive, including the pair on court right now, because Gideon and Sukumolio won the China Open in Fuzhou four consecutive times. The 750 tournament. Yeah. 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 
but we should point out Close that Lee Yong Day did win six, not consecutive, but six in total Korean Opens and five China Opens. So total number yeah. has <laughs> been more, but not consecutive. Nobody's won five consecutive. Oh, oh, oh service oh fault called. I must say it looked high even from up here where we're sitting. It looked a little bit high, that one. Just long. Yeah, that's a lovely shot taking off the pace from Kusuma uh, Warana, the way he's just covering that forehand side. So well, look at this one. Yes. And it's dropping right around the service line. Really very short. Oh, watch out, watch out. is using an awfully big swing when he's coming forward to the net on the forehand side. Have you yes. noticed that? I've noticed that, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, you used to remember, I think it was back in 2014, you and I, we were do doing the uh, Indonesian Open together. And like that was the first time I saw Kevin Sukamoyo play, and he played in the mixed doubles. Oh, that's right. Wasn't it with Puli? It was with Gracia Puli. Yeah. And the first yeah. round, they beat Zhang Nang and Zhao Yunlei. They did. It was a fantastic match. Yeah. And that's back in 2014. A lot of water under the bridge since. Yeah. Oh, no, that's, that's a good, good shot. Yeah, good shot, good placement. But they're just lacking the sparkle. And me. I don't know whether the, it's because of the slower conditions ah! here, Morton, or, or whether there's something actually wrong between uh, Gideon and Sukumolio. I don't, we don't know. Uh, we don't know. It's hard to say. But I, I still think that the slow conditions... Doesn't do, suit it, them. It, it doesn't suit them, and it does annoy them. Yes. Run. Yeah. 15. I think it annoyed one or two oh. other players when we were commentating <laughs> last night as well. Yes. And I'm not going to mention any names. Oh. But some players who, who have an attacking oh. style yes. are getting frustrated that their normal attacking style isn't working as it normally would. They're, they're losing the sting in their game. And yeah. it, you can see it on their facial expressions. Yeah. That, you know, oh, it used to be a winner and not here. Good work. 17 at the front of the court. Good interception. Good pressure. Oh, once again serving wide and once again short of the service line. But it's such a good serve. Yeah, but wasn't his service error serving to the right hand oh. court before? Yeah. Yes, it was one. But both out wide. Both out wide and both short of the line. Yeah. We're talking about an inch. Yeah. So it's very so close. So well, 14, 18. Oh, it's close. Yeah. That's a cheeky shot, isn't 18. it? When yeah. you're having Sukamoyo there standing at the net waiting for it and he's still playing it, that's quite cheeky. <laughs> that's confidence. That's confidence. That's another word to say. <laughs> oh, now that's more like the Sukamoyo we know and love. 16, yeah, still time to close the gap. Down by four points, now it's down to two. Yeah. Can change very quickly, can't it, in men's doubles? Oh, 
Hamstring's gone. Yeah, he's run off. That took an awful long time. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't <laughs> believe it. That's insane, isn't it? <laughs> they got back the difficult ones. Off he goes. And then they miss the absolute sitter. I he was so late it. coming back in Rambutan, and then eventually he got it, and he got it back really well. So now just one point in it. Oh, brilliant. Fantastic defense by oh. Rambitan. Maybe got a little overexcited when he I got to the net. So. I think, think exactly that's what happened, but that one is a beauty. So we're all level. And many of the rallies seems to be in the twenties. So it's quite a lot of long rallies. Yeah. I think he lost the racket. I think it's a sign of a loose grip, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that was extraordinary. I only saw out of the corner of my eye. Now oh, we're just seeing the end of the run. Yeah. Another 22 shots. <laughs> So who's going to have the game point opportunity? Leon. Four's challenge here. Kevin Sanjay challenges. The number one seeds. Yeah, just as well, whatever. Whether yeah. he's in or out, I think it's a good chance. It's a, it's a good challenge. Yeah, you might as well at 19 yeah. all. Exactly, and you only used to, uh, you haven't used any so far. No, neither pair. No, so it makes sense. <laughs> and they were both very definite about it, which. Yeah, so familiar was very quick. Oh no, it's clearly in. Yeah. Wow. I think uh, Gideon was I'm just doing move. partner support. <laughs> 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 So game point, point opportunity to Kasuma Wadana and Arambatan. Good to see Gideon be more decisive at the front of the court. Earlier in this opening game, I thought he had an opportunity where he just blocked it. Yeah. So 20 all. Extra points required until there's a clear two point winning margin. That's one well left. Oh, the well, they're challenging. They won't win that, I'm pretty certain. <laughs> I saw that as clearly long. Yeah, clearly out. And if I'm wrong on that, I'm... You need new glasses. I'll be rushing out tomorrow to buy new glasses or sending somebody out. We're not sending allowed. No, no, we're, no, we're not going anywhere. We're yeah. not allowed anywhere. But we don't mind. It's lovely here. Yeah. 
way out. <laughs> Jelly, unsuccessful. So, Until having just ready. saved a game point opportunity. And you can keep your specs. <laughs> yes, the 21, number one 20, seeds play. have a game point opportunity themselves. Oh. Oh. Opening game to the defending champions, Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio. Having to come from way behind in that opening game. 9.15 down, 13.18 down. But it's not how you start, it's how you finish. 22.20, opening game. In 19 minutes of play. While the players are in this two-minute timeout, my little quiz question for you today, Ooh. because I've said that no men's doubles player has won five consecutive titles, but a woman's doubles player has won five consecutive titles at one particular tournament. And I'm giving you a huge clue. Oh, you always say that. <laughs> at the China <laughs> Open, and it was a Chinese player, player. who had two outstanding Partnerships. Partnerships. You, Yang? Yes, well done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm buying the teas again tonight. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Make my one day. 20 seconds. What one? 20 seconds. And if anyone think that this is prepared, I can guarantee you it's not. <laughs> Second game, low on, play. Well, it'll be interesting to me to see whether Gideon and Sukumolio managed to build on perhaps some confidence gain from taking that opening game. I, I was actually debating that for myself um, a little bit earlier, and um, I, I possibly think so. I possibly so think so. I think there's a bigger chance now that the match will end in two than uh, the match will end in three. Are you still of your same thought process on the drift here, Morton? Yes, exactly the same. Yep, so it's that's flying a little faster going towards yes. this pair at the moment, yeah. so towards the far end of the court as we all look down during the rally. Yeah. Kusuma Badana, Rambitan is uh, playing with the drift. They play the fast end. And I actually think there's a tiny little bit sideways drift as well. Okay, which way? Oh, string's gone. Uh, string's gone, yeah. Um, from where we're sitting, from right to left. Okay. And we're sitting where you're sitting, everyone watching at home. Yes, <laughs> same as us. So that the longest rally of the match so far. I was a little bit surprised that Sukumolio didn't go off and change the racket. He looked at his racket, he knew the strings had gone. But maybe it was just margin only you know, right at the top. So he chose maybe not to do it.
Oh, that's a nice play from Rambitan. Lovely love control. The way that he's just <laughs> playing that block shot, passing Sukumulya. Sorry, passing uh, Gideon actually at the net is really well played. the umpire saying there just calm down don't get so exuberant perhaps There's nothing wrong with a bit of exuberance it's always good It's interesting because Kasuma Wadana and the Rambutan not getting deceived by the drop shots from Sukumolio at, at all. And everybody else is backtracking, but they're yeah. actually almost going forward. So yeah. I noticed that too. Yeah. tend to defend as well the unseated combination aren't they they are but uh, the thing is that uh, as much as uh, Kusuma Wadana and Rambitan is standing on the sort of fast end of the court one also have to say that Sukamoyo and Gideon standing on the slow end which is probably taking even further sting out of their attack and mm. it means that the two, two youngsters are Six taking one ten step ten forward in their defense yeah this is a lucky defensive shot from Sukumolio. It's the top of the tape. Trickles over. Well, these rallies are getting longer and longer. 45 shots, that one. Yeah, that's a perfect return from Rambitan. Oh, look at that. I do like that. So really so acute seven, angle four. from Rambitan. Yeah, that's pretty perfect. I love that too. It landed in front of the front service line. It did. So acute was the angle. Oh, that's it gone. Spring's gone. Rambitan's rocket. <laughs> it's difficult to sort of analyse tactically because it's becoming such a slog as to how you get the shuttle down in this men's doubles. Yeah, you see that some of the players actually start fairing, just sta standing side by side Maybe. and not really making use of the front and the back but simply just sta standing side by side and then okay now it's me hitting and now it's you hitting it is yeah as i say my goodness gracious his racket is the other Six, end of the court seven. Yeah. <laughs> if, if that's not a fault I it, don't know it was it was called a fault don't be alarmed <laughs> We need to see that again. That doesn't happen every day. Watch this. <laughs> okay. That's, <laughs> that's pretty funny. 
It's one of it's, it's one of those film clips, you know, what happens Ooh, next. next. <laughs> <laughs> Good defense. Yeah, Kevin is really trying to go for angle, going for steepness, which I think is, uh, is a good thing for him to do. Well, I said these rallies were getting longer and longer. This is the longest yet. Fifty shots. I think there's perhaps a, a little bit of a psychological war going on between uh, Kevin and Rampitan. But uh, I'm not sure. Hence, trying to really deceive him with the disguised drop shot and things like that yeah, from and Kevin. And Kevin went up, uh, running up to try to pick up the shot and then decided to leave it because the other one actually made the mistake ah, and stuff right. like that. Yeah. And, and what you saw here was Rambitan, he was diving way after yeah. the shot was over. He was mm -hmm. in the net, and then he's decided to yeah. dive in it. So I think there's perhaps a, a little look at that one as, as well. Kevin was leaving that, but the way that he was leaving it, and it was mm -hmm. Rambitan serving. So I think... Well, the line judge, I can tell you, was very slow to react. And that, I think, has unsettled Rambitan and Kusuma Wadana. Yeah, it was Kusuma Wadana that made the choice. Clearly out. No. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Soy Sobo, seven, eight, play. Oh, yes, you're right, Morton. Am I right? You yes, there was, a, there was a long, hard look yeah. from Kevin Sanjaya Sukumolio yeah. towards Rambetan yeah. and then stood at the net and didn't pick up the shuttle. Yes. You're absolutely right, well spotted. <laughs> it's gone long. Nine, eight. That's a good flick surf. Well done by Gideon. Yeah. Ten, well, well, well. Eight. Well, well, well. Yeah, now Kasuma Badana is kind of complaining to the yeah. umpire about it. So. <laughs> mm. Kevin? Good serve. Come on. Well, that was a run of four straight points. One of the three time defending champions. I think the, dare we say, gamesmanship has been notched up a level. <laughs> you could say that. And the way that Kevin is now looking at the two, I'm yeah. telling you, there's something going on between the yeah. four of them. Yeah, and now Kasuma Wadana is complaining to the umpire. But that's a war. I don't think the two young ones will win. No. I think they are sort of waking up the sleeping giant. Yeah. And they have to be a little bit careful on that.
because when Sukumolio starts strutting what his stuff, he can be very seconds. lethal. What one, <laughs> he <seconds>. can. <laughs> oh, I've seen some of the wars that he had with uh, Eleven, nine, Li Junhui, uh, Li Junhui, Li Jun and Li, Liu Yujian. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's been some amazing psychological wars been going well, on yeah. between the four. <laughs> close this yeah. one is really really close yeah well if they're wrong so here more they got none they've got no challenges left yeah. <laughs> hope for their sakes then that is correct because if this gets really tight you need some yep they were right you need a challenge up your sleeve don't you yeah Oh, that's well taken. Yeah. Uh, very, very oh. decisive. sort of a half smash from Kasuma Wadana. I think he noticed that uh, Gideon was standing quite far back and he knew that Kevin had to go in and cover the centre of the court, despite the fact that he's on the straight one. Well, that had been three stra uh, four straight points to Kasuma Wadana. And Orambetan. Oh. Oh. Good placement. So, so, fourteen, thirteen. This is something that you really cannot afford in a situation like this. Service mistake. Happy I spotted it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Long before anyone else saw it. <laughs> I think actually the umpire needs to have spotted this. And if he's spotted it, he really needs to say something. Yeah, calm it down a bit. Yeah. 
and perhaps even, as I say, last last caution, and then you know, it's a yellow card for the next. Yeah. It, the the problem is, Morton. What what is what is the the thing that's so bad? Is it that it's unsportsmanlike behaviour? Yeah, I would say that. Okay. I would say that. 16, 40. But sometimes in different circumstances, we laugh at that sort of thing. Uh, but that's if it happens once or twice, and yes. you know, it's a little bit of yeah. a gimmick and all that, but this is a constant thing. Exactly. But that's just my view on it. Services, 15, 16. It's a bit like, I know you don't play cricket in, in Denmark, not a lot, really. Not a lot. No, but it's like sledging in cricket. Oh, I don't even know that word. Ah. Well, when I have to buy you a cup of tea, I'll explain more. But yeah. it's it's when uh, the fielders around the batsmen start okay. saying things to okay, try and put yeah. him I'm off. I'm completely with you. Yeah. 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 Because they are encroaching. They're getting closer and closer. But it's not. It th they verbally say something. Yeah. Okay. And that's called sledging. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice angle on that. Oh. Yeah, put that away with Venom. That was not going to come back. <laughs> That's a miss. Yeah. yeah. That was a good opportunity for Sumawadana. I think the placement is correct. It's going on the forehand side of Gideon. But it's a miss. It's a big opportunity. Can't afford it at this stage in the match. There's a, double, there's a hit on it. Yeah. Came off the frame of the racket. Yeah, there's just a slight touch on it. Short. Match point opportunities for the three time defending champions Gideon and Sukumonia. Please welcome Sayaka Takahashi, Japan. And that's it. 21 17, second game. But they had to work hard for that, did the defending champions, Gideon and Sukumolio. 22 20, 21 17. In the match lasting 41 minutes. So safely through to the semi final once more. And as a combination, Gideon and Sukumolio have never lost so far in this particular tournament. safely through to the semi-final once more. Confirmation of the scoreline, 22-20, 21-17 in 41 minutes.
So the defending champions in the men's doubles, Gideon and Sukumolio, safely through that tough encounter against teammates Kusuma Wadana and Rambetan. Next up is another men's doubles, and it's two pairs who won Olympic medals in the Tokyo.